Think on these things, by Jiddu Krishnamurti is a profound exploration of human consciousness, thought, and the nature of life itself. In this book, Krishnamurti encourages readers to engage in deep self-reflection and to question the very essence of their existence. Through his eloquent prose and thought-provoking ideas, Krishnamurti invites us to examine the patterns of our thinking, the influence of society on our minds, and the possibility of true transformation. One of the central themes of the book is the examination of thought itself. Krishnamurti posits that thought is both a powerful tool and a potential source of limitation. He argues that our thinking is often conditioned by our past experiences, beliefs, and cultural influences, which can cloud our perception of reality. Krishnamurti challenges us to break free from these conditioned thought patterns and to approach life with a fresh and open mind. Krishnamurti emphasizes the importance of self-awareness as a means to understand and transcend the limitations of thought. He suggests that by observing our thoughts without judgment or attachment, we can gain insight into the nature of our consciousness. This process of self-inquiry, according to Krishnamurti, can lead to a profound transformation in our understanding of ourselves and the world around us. Throughout the book, Krishnamurti encourages readers to question authority and to think for themselves. He believes that blindly following traditions, ideologies, or gurus stifles individual creativity in authentic self-discovery. Krishnamurti advocates for a form of education that fosters critical thinking and self-exploration, allowing students to develop their own unique understanding of the world. Krishnamurti also delves into the nature of fear and the role it plays in our lives. He argues that fear is a fundamental aspect of the human psyche and that it often drives our thoughts and actions. Whether it is the fear of the unknown, the fear of death, or the fear of social disapproval, Krishnamurti suggests that fear can imprison our minds and prevent us from living fully. He challenges us to confront our fears directly, rather than seeking escape through various forms of distraction or avoidance. The author's exploration of freedom and authority is particularly thought-provoking. Krishnamurti contends that true freedom is not the absence of external constraints but the liberation of the mind from all forms of authority, including religious, political, and psychological. He believes that when individuals rely on external authorities to dictate their beliefs and actions, they forfeit their autonomy and become passive conformists. Krishnamurti urges us to take full responsibility for our lives and to question all forms of authority, both external and internal. Krishnamurti's writing style is contemplative and philosophical, characterized by its clarity and simplicity. He employs a Socratic method of questioning, encouraging readers to engage in a dialogue with themselves as they ponder the profound issues he raises. His prose is poetic at times, conveying a sense of wonder and awe about the mysteries of existence. Think on These Things is not a book with easy answers or a one-size-fits-all approach to life's questions. Instead, it serves as a catalyst for introspection and self-discovery. Krishnamurti's ideas challenge readers to grapple with complex concepts and to embark on a lifelong journey of self-inquiry. In conclusion, Think on These Things, by Jiddu Krishnamurti is a timeless exploration of the human mind and consciousness. Krishnamurti's ideas on thought, self-awareness, freedom, and authority invite readers to question deeply ingrained beliefs and to embark on a path of self-discovery. His call for individual responsibility and critical thinking resonates as strongly today as it did when the book was first published. This literary work serves as an enduring guide for those seeking a deeper understanding of themselves and the world they inhabit.